Good luck, guys. They moved the tee pad up on hole number one this year, made it a little bit shorter, but the hill is right in front of you. I went with Fireball Heiser. Um, just nice and easy chip shot up there. I believe it plays like it's about 270 feet, maybe. Nice shot. Thank you. Going to be a pretty short, easy birdie here with the soft envy and the electron plastic. I had some camera malfunctions during this round. Uh, I guess I got it fixed. I changed the settings a little bit, but uh, it cut off during my drive on hole two, which was not a good drive. And uh, I was stuck on the hillside, so I couldn't really set up the cam for shot two. Threw a really nice second shot out, uh, sidearm the insanity. Got me in position to throw that little jump putt up there and try and save a par here on hole number two. So one under through two going into hole three. New tee pad this year, pretty sweet hole. I'm gonna smash fireball straight off the tee and try to finish under the last pine tree. That turned out to be the best drive I had on this hole the entire week. Um, let's hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> Should definitely be going fireball again here because of this weird hillside. Tried to throw an envy and it just got sucked right off the um, off the hill. I actually got pretty lucky though to not be out of bounds. I thought I was going to be OB. So I'm actually putting for birdie here. Probably from about 50 or 60 feet. Ah, never mind. Maybe 45 feet. Looks like he didn't miss too much on the uh, drive here on hole number 4. Threw it right into this crap on the right side. I'm actually stuck in a weird spot, and uh, I'm going to bang my hand on that tree, which kind of sucked. It really didn't even occur to me that it could happen from the stance I was in, but it did, so. Just had to pick all those little guys out of my finger and move on. So, got a chance to save the par, though, on the tough par three, hole number four. And looks kind of short from here, but you can see me run up there. It wasn't super short. And with that much elevation, I was definitely happy to get that one in there. Hole 5. Got this one every round last year. Can't seem to get near the basket this year. Oh, I don't think they're high enough, bro. There are no trees. <laughs> wow. Did she come down? Uh, way up there. Oh, God. I thought I got away with one there. Um, turns out I'm way back in this left side stuff. Well, by stuff I actually mean sawgrass. And uh, if you know why they call it sawgrass, <laughs> it sucks. So um, I definitely got all cut up this weekend. But I had a really tough time getting to my lie. And then I knew I shouldn't run the putt, but I did anyway. And overcommitted, missed it with too much hyzer, rolled down the hill. And I probably have about a 40-foot uphill comebacker. Which, luckily, I make. Or skillfully. Eh, we'll go with skillfully. But never turned down some luck. Move on to hole six. Little short downhill. Or got to get this hole. Oh, where's the Hit it. Please hit it. Thank you. Hit a tree or something. Yeah, I was hoping it would just roll back out. Here in this hole right now, how many people are here? This is what happens when you play big disc golf tournaments. You do more waiting than golfing. No, we're gonna do it. That was a little during the round commentary from me. Uh, this was the big backup on hole number seven. I actually did make the long putt on hole number six, but the camera shut off during it during the putt for some reason. Uh, so here's my drive on seven. Birdie on six got me to two under par so far this round. So I smashed that drive. That was actually uh, one of the best positions I ended up on this hole. Puts me in a good spot to throw the thumber. I was going to throw a backhand mid-range, um, but it picked up a headwind, so I decided to go thumber instead. Going to be a little short right on the hillside. 
That's a thumber. Yeah, it's kind of a flick angle, but thumber okay. grip. It's going to be a little bit of a funky lie here. I actually ended up within a foot rounds two and three. You can see my disc glowing red in that tree right there to my left. There's AJ Carey making a putt there. So I'm actually putting in between these two trees. It's about a disc and a half wide, uh, but my hand's close enough to it to where I feel comfortable I'm not going to hit the trees. But I am standing on top of a bunch of roots, so tough putt. I went with the eye on. Yeah, Woo! man. Great putt. I was stoked about that one. And it got me to three under through seven holes. And those back-to-back -back birdies got me really wanting to grab another one here on hole number eight. Uh, we had a good win, so I went with the alias instead of the raft. Love my line. Thank you. I actually thought it was going to be much closer from the tee. Got down here and saw I still had uh, just outside the circle putt. was a little worried about that one rolling when I missed, but... Pretty disappointed in missing that one low, but it's always good to be online. Here's the newly changed hole nine, which I actually got a deuce on during round one, and uh, it, this one's at the edge of my reach. Oh, no. There usually is a little bit of um, crosswind coming across the canyon there that you can't feel off the tee, um, and I kind of thought it would be there. Didn't put enough Anheuser on it, and that photon hysered out. It's going to put me in a really tough spot. Going to have to try and poke a tomahawk through. Not the best backhand position. But I did manage to get through there. And got a pretty short putt at par. I was super happy when I got up here and saw the result. There you go. Up and down. Did, you go did you go low or high? Alright. Where'd you go? I went right here in this little gap, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I came right over the, that curve and went one gap. And then we just had to get lucky at the end. Oh, Sam. It looked like the future. The back end footage is a little better from round three, I can promise. This was the first time I really tried to do it during a tournament, but because there were so many backups, it seemed like a pretty good time to do it. So after a little backup. Come on, baby. Now get left. Thank you. Thank you. We play the very hard oh, hole number 10. So Hardest tee shot on the course for sure. Um, I ended up getting lucky and I think I threw an upside down putt to slide on the hill and tapped out for par on that last one. On to hole 11, 555 downhill, way downhill. Plays like about 420. <laughs> right there. Oh my. Wow. Beside the basket. Mark you much. Whoa. Circled it up with the photon in the Neutron Plastic. I have two twins in that uh, baby blue Neutron Plastic. And I throw them both pretty equally. Now we're on the Mando hole. I ain't trying to kill you. you saw the picture of Homer Simpson. I'm trying to get this spider off the tee pad and telling right, him to move. I don't want to kill him because you don't ever want to kill anything right before you throw. But I think I step on him here. Yeah, that looked like spider death. Uh, I'm sorry, little buddy. I hope you live, because I threw like crap. I don't see him. He's probably on the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> I feel like I still saw him on the tee pad there. I think maybe he became a little spot on the tee pad. Well, that's probably why it didn't turn out very good. So I made the Mando, but I'm over here on the right side. It's going to be a really weird, tough shot. I think I'm going to try to go insanity, crazy, patent pending roller. I don't know. Alright, this is gonna be weird. Hey, if this turns into a really early cut roller, please yell for it, those guys. Definitely lots of good audio right there. 
So I got this putt here from at least 50 feet. Um, I'm going to choose to go right side. Usually I'll always take the Anheuser if it's possible, but um, these Envies have so much glide that, and, and I spin putt so hard that when I do the anti spin putts around stuff like this, I have a tendency to go really long. Oh. Man. Good run. Thank you. That was a soft Envy. Almost got it. Gonna go insanity here. Oh, come on, don't keep rolling. Get out. Live. Somewhere. Yeah, Didn't sorry. make a lot of noise. That's usually a good sign. So when you throw downhill, it uh, makes everything a little less stable. So I should have really thrown that with just a little bit more hyzer or thrown a more overstable disc, but um, ended up throwing a thumber roller on my second shot that got me to right there and gave me a putt for the birdie. So I'll take the par there and move on to hole 14 that you really want to get, and I'm going fireball hyzer. Now there is a cliff on the right side, and if you hit one of those trees, it will most likely suck you down into the cliff, which is out of bounds. Uh, bad news. So I just let it go a little bit early and uh, stuck over here on the left side. It's going to be a long putt, kind of obstructed, having to jump sawgrass to get there. So I've got an Envy in my hand, but I also have uh, a s Electron Soft Ion in my hand. That's the white one. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. I usually putt with a little bit of Anheuser, and this is forcing me into a hyzer. So I'm going hyzer with the Ion. That one had a really good look yeah, right man. out of my hand. Thank you. Change up that style a little bit. Yeah, different putters. Yep. Yeah. Getting some love from my group there. Gotta love that. Played with a super cool group this round. This view was too pretty not to slow mo. This actually turned out to be the best drive I threw on this hole the entire week. Don't go into the what? <laughs> Might have beat it. Might have made the corner. Maybe. Right on the edge. So it got me just around the corner of the gap um, in a little bit of a weird spot as far as footing. So I'm going to take just a one step approach in and throw the alias yep. on a rope. Okay. Nice nice. Thank you. I was super excited about that shot. Uh, and when we got up here, I was really excited to see how close I was. Easy birdie. Yeah, Matt. This was a hole I was kind of just playing for a par. I wasn't trying to be super aggressive with my tee shot, but it just got just enough aim on it. got just nine enough minutes skip around maybe the corner. Maybe uh, to give me that look. So we move on to hole 16. It's a super shorty up on that ridge and it dropped off the other side as well. Just can't get a birdie on 16. Ended up going down the other side of the hill and I just laid up to take my three. Hole 17, first thumber tee shot of the round. OB on the left side and I just put too much pan on it. I, I really, at the last second, I was like, I'm just gonna throw a fastball as hard as I can, and it's put too much pan, and it just panned into one of the pine trees on the edge of the out of bounds. So I bogeyed 17, my first Hold. bogey of the round. Right. Yeah, Move on to 18. Today. Hit that tree and roll out the middle. You know you can do it. Come on. No oh, it was close though. <laughs> <laughs> I was Did a whole bunch of talking <laughs> to my disc to try and get it to come out of there, and um, Ended up throwing a pretty crazy shot to get to this point, and as you can see, it's getting dark as we finish. I'm going with a medium plastic envy and going for this long uphill putt. Yeah, it's in the basket! And uh, I had to kind of yell because I didn't know if anybody in my group even knew that it was in the basket because it was getting so dark and we were pretty scattered there, but. Anyway, that was round two of Throw Down the Mountain, and uh, I will try to do round three for you as soon as I get back from the Disc Golf Pro Tour in Arkansas. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my channel, and watch as many of the videos as you can. I'll be back with more. Thanks again.